Hey everyone, this is Steve Richards, and in today's video, we're going to give you a full review of the Kettle Grip, which is a really unique device, and I really have enjoyed using it. Uh, my review for this is long overdue, so I want to apologize to the people at Kettle Grip for taking so long uh, to do the review. Um, actually, I thought I lost it, but I found it, so I went back to using it. And my love for kettlebells over the past few weeks and months has grown. Uh, you've seen me do kettlebell workouts up in the mountains using the Kettlebell Kings kettlebells. And you've also seen the video review of the kettle block from Power Block. Now that gives me a good range of kettlebells that I'm using, 22 to 35 pounds on the kettle block, and then 35, 44, and 53 pounds on the Kettlebell Kings. Well, that's great, and there's gonna be instances where I use those more than normal, but when I'm traveling especially, and all I have is like a Planet Fitness or another gym, whereas all they have is hex dumbbells, or just a limited amount of kettlebells where I wanna go either heavier on swings, or I wanna go lighter in the case of the workout that's gonna be posted after this review video, which is a full, simple, and sinister workout. Uh, check it out, it's really, really cool. Tougher than it looks, so, we did kettlebell swings with that, and we also did Turkish get-ups, which was the first time, the first time I've ever tried doing this particular movement. It wasn't perfect, but more importantly, from a safety aspect, I wanted to go lighter than even the 22 pounds on the kettle block. So I picked 15 pounds for the Turkish get-up, and then I did a standard 35 pounds, which is I have here with the kettlebell kings, but this made it a lot more portable to do this, put a hex dumbbell in there, and then be able to go and do my kettlebell swings. So my thoughts after using it for a full workout with Simple Sinister and then other exercises with this, I have to say it's it's really, really a useful device, really great, and you can see we have a home gym here. Some people might even have less space, so having something like this with dumbbells is really a great uh, feature to have, really easy to put them in there, really easy to remove them. One thing though, I will say as I get up here, and then take this out. This is the one dumbbell that is incompatible with uh, the kettle grip. And you can see why. The kettle grip, as it opens up, and you saw the, the B-roll of that just a second ago, as it opens up, you want the regular dumbbell to go in there, and it is not compatible with fitting in there. And that's, that's fine, because the power blocks and the adjustable kettlebell save so much space for me. It's, uh, it's not a bad trade-off. And what the kettle grip does is enables me, like I have said before, when I travel, I like to do different kinds of workouts. Uh, when I travel and I go to a local Planet Fitness where it doesn't have a good range of kettlebells, if any, but it does have enough dumbbells for the Turkish get up so I can go very light until I build my functional strength up. Or even if I want to go heavier on the kettlebell swings, it's not a big sacrifice for under 35 bucks to travel with this. I don't even have to throw it in my carry-on bag. I can fit this in my backpack and I'm up and ready to go. So all in all, I, I love this thing. For under 35 bucks, I feel like it's it's built like a tank. It's it's not even scratched up yet or anything with all the use that I've had on it. One, one handed kettlebell swings, two handed, especially the sides of my hands here, fits in very well. Uh, cleans, snatches, uh, also windmills, any kind of kettlebell exercise uh, that you can think of, you can do with this. So please subscribe share, get notified, and also comment below. Let me know what you think of the kettle grip or any kettlebell exercises in particular that you want to see or kettlebell workouts that you want me to post to the YouTube channel. And remember, you can always go to stevierichardsfitness.com, check out the 12-week resistance band training program, very affordable, direct email support with me. I really do take pride in offering the best support out there for the 12-week resistance band training program. Okay, that's it. Now we're going to go to the full workout video. I'm going to try to find some really decent royalty-free loop music of me going through the workout, but it might just be just really, may, you might have to put some music in your ears as you watch it because it might just be me doing the exercises uh, with no music in the background because YouTube kind of is really cracking down on this. So even if it's royalty-free, somehow I get, it, I get it, somehow I get a copyright notice for it, even if I own the music. So whatever, that's fine. As long as you guys get the workout and there's going to be updates on the Simple and Sinister Workout Program. I'm gonna do it every single day, at least for this month, mixing in yoga, cardio, stuff like that, and see how my functional fitness grows and improves over the next month. So please stay tuned and stay subscribed for that stuff. News readers, politicians, teachers, lecturers. We are in a country 
and in a world that is being run by unbelievably sick people. The chasm between what we're told is going on and what is really going on is absolutely enormous. It's like we all know what's going down, but no one's saying shit what happened to the home of the brave. These motherfuckers, they control us now, and no one's talking about how they made us out of these slaves. And everybody's just walking around, heading the clouds, and won't awaken to a dead in the grave. By then it's too late, we need to be ready to raise up. Welcome to the end of day. Everybody is slaves, only some are aware that the government releasing poison in the air. That's the reason I collect so many guns in my lair. I ain't never caught slipping, never under. To prepare, yeah. They shade sign on me, they just spray it proudly. George Bush, the grandson of Alistair Crowley. They want you to believe the lot of the enemy Saudi. The enemy ain't Saudi, the enemy around me. It's fluoride in the water, but nobody know that. It's also a prominent ingredient in Prozac. For real? How could any government bestow that? A pie people who believe in political throwback. That's not all that I'm here to present you. I know about the black pope in Solomon's temple. Yeah. About the Vatican assassins and how they will get you. And how they clone Barack Hussein Obama in a test tube. It's like we all know what's going down, but no one's saying shit what happened to the home of the brave. These motherfuckers, they controlling us now. And no one's talking about how they made us fight and be slaves. And everybody's just walking around, head in the clouds, and won't awaken to a dead in the grave. But then it's too late, we need to be ready to raise up Welcome to the end Whoever built the pyramids had knowledge of electrical power And you know that that's the information that they suppress and devour Who you sick the motherfuckers that crashed in the tower Who you sick that made it turn into ash in an hour The same ones that invaded your own The ones that never told you about the skeletons on the moon Yeah, the ones that poison all the food you consume The ones that never told you about the Mount Vesuvius tombs right. The bird flu is a lie, the swan flu is a lie Why would that even come as a surprise? Yeah, the polio vaccine made you die It caused cancer and it cost a lot of people their lives Do y'all know about Bohemian Grove? How the world leaders sacrifice the children in robes? Lucifer is God in the public school system I suggest you open up your ears and you listen, listen. It's like we all know what's going down But no one's saying shit what happened to the home of the brave These motherfuckers, they controlling us now And no one's talking about how they made us fight and be slaves And everybody's just walking around Head in the clouds and won't awaken to a dead in the grave By then it's too late, we need to be ready to raise up Welcome to the end of day The greatest hypnotist on planet Earth is a oblong box in the corner of the room. It is constantly telling us what to believe is real.